Labor has described research into the benefits of shooting for sport as a waste of taxpayer money as pressure mounts on Bridget McKenzie to resign. The former sports minister commissioned the report but signed off on grants for shooting clubs before the results were known. Let's go live now to political reporter Eliza Edwards. Eliza, the research didn't offer any clear results about the benefits for shooters. Yes, yeah, Sam, it was pretty much inconclusive. This report was commissioned by then Sports Minister Bridget McKenzie last February, but she didn't wait for the results before signing off on a million dollars in grants for various shooting clubs as part of the controversial community sports infrastructure program. Labor, of course, has jumped on this. Frontbencher Chris Bowen says it's yet another indictment of Senator McKenzie's handling of the sport portfolio. It's not daily updates to this saga, it's hourly updates uh, from Bridget McKenzie's maladministration of the sports portfolio. Um, you know, there's the grants to the shooting club that she was a member of but wasn't disclosed. Now we have this waste of $160,000, complete waste of money, um, which I think from what I could see on my reading of the report said that hunting and shooting might be good for you but it was pretty hard to tell. Sam, the Health Minister Greg Hunt has also been dragged into this because the report into shooting benefits was passed on to his department. After repeated questioning, though, he refused to say what this research is actually being used for. I'll leave the specifics to the sports minister. No, that, that's fine, but if it was handed to your department, do you have any idea what they the do with such a report, or is it a $160,000 uh, report that's just collecting dust? No, in particular, uh, any evidence provided to government is reviewed by the specific department. Uh, in particular, this would be uh, the sports minister. So no concerns about that money being spent on such a report at all? Uh, look, uh, thanks very much, Laura. I've uh, provided the, uh, the answer that uh, I'll leave that detail uh, to the relevant minister. And Eliza, this sport sports saga is overshadowing the government's latest drought announcement today. Yeah, the Prime Minister is likely to be peppered with questions about his agriculture minister who's conspicuously absent from this drought trip to Orange today. His drought minister, David Littleproud, is there though. The government is announcing an extra 52 local councils will be in line for funding, including a swathe of councils in WA. So a recognition there that the big dry is biting in the west as well as eastern Australia. Now, during a meeting of the Drought Advisory Board this morning, Scott Morrison says drought-ravaged farmers have not been forgotten as bushfires rage. It's also important to acknowledge today that while our parts remain heavy around the bushfires, um, we have never forgotten what's happening out in rural and regional Australia when it comes to the drought, nor have we forgotten what happened a year ago you know, up in North Queensland with the floods. Uh, these disasters have hit in so many places and it has remained front and centre on our uh, focus as a government. But it's the Mackenzie saga, though, that's likely to dominate questions at Scott Morrison's National Press Club appearance tomorrow as well. Sam? I'm sure it will. Eliza Edwards, thank you for the update.